Hi, I'm Joe Fitzpatrick. In this Understand Photography Lightroom Quick Tip, I'm going to show you some hidden features of the Lightroom Crop Tool. When in the Develop module, you can access the Crop Tool by clicking on the small rectangle in the Local Adjustment Toolbar. You can also access the Crop Tool by pressing on the letter R, as in Roger. This will take you directly to the tool whether you're in the Develop module or the Library module. With the Crop Tool active, you can click on one of the corners or on one of the center dots and drag to crop the image. You'll notice when I do this that the image shifts. If you want to keep the subject in the center, hold down the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac, and then when you recrop, it stays centered in the image. You can change the aspect ratio you're cropping to by selecting a different crop ratio over here. Click on the little double triangle and then select the crop ratio you want. You can also perform a freeform crop by clicking on the little padlock to unlock it. Then you are not restricted on the size of the crop and you can crop to any aspect ratio you wish. Lightroom offers a number of overlays to guide you in cropping the image. To cycle through them, tap the O key. Each time you tap it, you will go through different ones. Some of the overlays can also be flopped from side to side by holding the Shift key down while you tap the O key. And as you can see, it will switch back and forth. You can choose which overlays to cycle through by going to Tools, Crop Guide Overlay, and then choosing the ones you want. Once you've selected the ones you want, click on OK. Another useful feature of the Crop Tool is that you can hide the surrounding panels while you're cropping to avoid distraction. All you need to do is tap the L key. When you do that, the surrounding panels are partially hidden. If you tap the L key one more time, the surrounding panels are totally hidden. You still have full control over your crop while this happens. Tapping one more time returns you to the regular view. You will note that the surrounding area is a light gray. You can change this to a different color by going to Edit, Preferences, clicking on the Interface tab, and changing the Lights Out color to all the various shades of gray that are available, and then clicking on OK. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find all our other quick tips and our weekly show on our website, understandphotography.com. Thanks for watching.